Hi everyone, this is Wes Fryer here in Oklahoma City. It's October the 9th, 2021. It's UTOU football weekend. Actually, I really don't care that much about that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that means though, what I do care about is it's our fall break at school. And so, woohoo, we got Friday and Monday off and I've been needing to make this video for quite a while. Um, I'm going to show how to, I guess we would say smoke and roast um, avo or, avocados, no, eggplant. Uh, these are small little eggplants that, that look a little bit like Asian eggplants, but I got these at the farmer's market today up in Edmond. I have made this with regular large eggplants. I, I really do like the thinner uh, Asian eggplant. I forgot the name of this. The farmer was telling me about what, what this little small guy is called. This is a little milder. I think the Asian eggplant's a little milder too. Um, but this is an absolutely great recipe. It is our favorite way to have eggplant now, and it's just so, so easy and fast. So I'm also gonna throw in uh, smoked acorn squash just because I'm gonna do it at the same time and I'm making a video, so we're gonna do both of those. All right, so the supplies are, are pretty easy here. Uh, sometimes I'll just do one large eggplant. Uh, we've got a, some guests coming in. I'm feeding about six tonight, so uh, I got a little bit more. Probably, one, of, well, not probably, one of the most important things is cast iron. Um, I, I love this, this cast iron um, skillet. This used, used to be my wife's grandmother's, uh, so it's got like some family history, but it's just a really great seasoned, you know, cast iron skillet. Um, I'm gonna be putting some avocado oil, um, I'm going to put two tablespoons of avocado oil, and I'll season with Mrs. Dash. You can do salt and pepper. We've been cutting salt out of our um, out of our uh, diet, so I'm not going to use that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I I like tripled the recipe a couple weeks ago. We had our Sunday school class over, and I cooked it in my um, lodge cast iron Dutch oven uh, with just with the lid off. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna. Cut this up, cube it, I'll speed this up uh, for the video. Put in the avocado oil and the Mrs. Dash, and I'm just gonna put it in, in here, and I just need to stir it about halfway through the cook. About 45 minutes at, at a 350 works pretty good. Uh, so that's what I mean. I'm, I may cook it closer to an hour uh, to uh, char it up a little bit more. And then for the acorn squash, I'm just gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna paint both halves with a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of molasses. I don't have that much left, but I think I might have enough because uh, I smoked some pork butts today and uh, these are some veggies we're going to have with. So, here we go. Alright, uh, I'm going to cut up this last one, but I thought I'd mention, uh, how do you pick out eggplant and know if it's if it's ripe or not um, I actually had some here that was one that was overly ripe because it's you know brown inside um, so you need to be able to push the eggplant and have it be soft enough to kind of give a little bit but not stay indented when you're when you push into it that's what I that's what I've read so anyway it does, and I, I also heard that it doesn't like you can't just leave it out to let it ripen it has to vine ripen so Anyway, uh, one of these guys was, was definitely too ripe, but the rest of them are fine. And we could tell that by looking at the actual inside. So this is fine. This, this is, this is, I don't, overly ripe. I don't think this is going to be good. So we're not going to have that. Unfortunately, we have a lot of these. So, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I got all my eggplant uh, chopped up here. I'm going to... Get two tablespoons of avocado oil, and I'm gonna drizzle this all over. You could do olive oil if you wanted to. Do an avocado oil more because it gets a little bit more nutritious, or maybe not nutritious, just healthier. Healthier is the better word, I guess. All right, so drizzle that all over, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a generous portion of Mrs. Dash here. I'm not actually measuring that out, just being generous. All right, and then I'm gonna stir this. And what I found is basically, I just need to stir this once when it's on the smoker. That one stir, uh, you know, it's, it turns out great. Um, it's gonna, 
uh, saute a little bit on the bottom of the pan. It's also going to saute on the top, you know, because of the smoke and everything like that. So I think it's, uh, for my either Christmas or, you know, probably upcoming gift time, I want to actually get a 12 inch cast iron, but this eight inch is just awesome. So, um, I'll go ahead and prep the, um, prep the acorn squash and then we're just going to go put this out on the grill. Okay. Let's prep the acorn squash. Step number one, have a good knife. And this is a, this is a great chopping knife that my mom got me a while back and be careful not to cut my hand off. Grab a nice spoon here. So I'm just gonna hollow out my seeds. I'm not really gonna do anything with these. I don't know if you can. Uh, I'm reading a pretty awesome book about agriculture right now. Um, it's called, what is it? Germs, Guns, and Steel by Jared Diamond. It's like a kind of a Bible of, of geographer knowledge in terms of the way that uh, development happened worldwide. And, uh, anyway, why am I mentioning this? The acorn squash is one of the native plants domesticated here in North America that still is a part of folks' diets, including ours tonight. So there were a lot more, a lot more, uh, plants and vegetables that were domesticated in the Fertile Crescent, which is like modern day Iraq uh, in that area of the world. And I don't have these at the tip of my tongue, but I know b barley and uh, there was there's a, a kind of wheat. Those are actually transplants from that area. Anyway, the book seeks to answer why is it that, you know, native people in some, some parts of the world we're able to develop, you know, steel and gunpowder and, and advanced civilization and industrialize and all this. And a big part of what it finds is that the native plants that were available to be domesticated they had a lot to do with that. So we got all that prepped and this is about as easy uh, a cook as, as you can have. So I've got my grill preheated here to 350. And so I'm gonna just put, just gonna put the eggplant right there. And then for these, let's see this, acorn squash. Just gonna set these here on the smoker. Ah. That was great footage, wasn't it? All right, that's a little better. So acorn squash is just there, and all I need to do is stir this about halfway through the cook. I'm gonna leave this on about an hour, um, and I'll stir that out in about 30 minutes, and we should be good. All right, it's been on for an hour and 20 minutes. That is a longer cook than we usually do for the eggplant, but man, that just looks perfect. I'm gonna uh, cut these guys up and see how the acorn squash is. Okay, so we're done. This has turned out really well. This was cooked actually about an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, man, again, just avocado oil and Mrs. Dash, that's it. This is the best way to eat eggplant. And, ta-da, I'm so excited these turned out so well. So, again, this was just the um, olive oil with a little bit of molasses. And we did that just so they were, there was less sugar. Um, but, uh, and normally we would just serve these whole. So it would be a little, little less messy if we were just serving the whole half. But perfect, and it cooked for just about an hour and a half at 350 on the smoker. All right.